there guys, it's me Pat and welcome back again to another tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to discuss how to convert binary to its octal form. Now we have here a binary number which is 001 base 2 and then we're going to convert it into its octal form which is blank base 8. Now in order to convert, kailangan lang natin matutunan yung dalawang concepts. Yung first concept is that kapag sinabi sa binary 1, that would be on and pag sinabi namang 0, that would be off. And then yung second concept naman natin is para makabuo ka ng isang octal number, kailangan lang natin ng tatlong bits or tatlong binary digits. So in here, yung mga squares na yan ang nagre-represent sa ating mga bits. So katulad ng example natin which is 001, isang octal number lang ang mabubuo natin dyan, okay? Now, yung mga bits na yan ay may corresponding values. And that would be 4, 2, and then 1. Kapag natutunan na natin itong dalawang concepts na to, handa na tayo mag-convert from binary to octal. So, ang gagawin lang natin is that kukuhanin natin yung mga naka-on na bits, tapos magsa-start tayo dito sa pinaka-right, tapos i-add natin yung mga corresponding values nila. So, in this case, since eto lang yung naka-on na bit, ang corresponding value niya would be 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dyan would be 1 base 8. So, ayan ay final answer natin. Now, if you're wondering, saan nang galing yung 4 to 1? Nang galing lang yan sa 2 raised to 0, which is 1, 2 raised to 1, which is 2, and then 2 raised to 2, which is 4. O kaya naman, kapag in natin yung 4, plus 2, plus 1, that would be equal to 7. Or eto lang yung 0 hanggang 7 na numbers pagdating sa octal natin. Okay? So in short guys, para makapag-convert tayo from binary to octal, kailangan lang natin matandaan yung pattern na 4 to 1. Okay? Alam ko medyo nakakalito siya sa umpisa, but let's take a look at this example para matrain tayo. So we have here 101 base 2. At katulad kanina, kailangan natin ng pattern na 4 to 1. Then, magsa-start tayo dito sa right at kukuhanin yung mga naka-on na bits. So, eto, since naka-on yan, ang corresponding values niya would be 1. Tapos, i-add natin siya sa isa pang naka-on na bit na may corresponding value na 4. So, ibig sabihin, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 base 8. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this example. We have 0, 1, 0, base 2. So, again, yung pattern natin na 4, 2, 1. Tapos, hahanapin lang natin naka-on na bit, which is this one. At ang corresponding value niya, which is 2. So, 2, base 8 lang. Okay? Now, let's try this one naman. We have 1, 1, 0. Again, guys, kukuhanin natin yung pattern na 4, 2, 1. Tapos, kukuhanin natin yung mga naka-on na bits at i-add yung corresponding values nila. So, in here, we have 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6, base 8. Okay? So, let's take a look at this example. So, we have 101, 110, base 2. So, since mahaba yung given natin, kailangan muna natin siya hatiin into 3 bits. So, that would be 1, 2, 3, slash, and then 1, 2, 3 again. So guys, ibig sabihin lang nito, etong group na to ay isang octal number at etong group naman na to ay isang panibagong octal number ulit. Okay? So katulad ng kaninang ginagawa natin, kailangan lang natin i-append yung pattern na 4, 2, 1 sa mga groups na to. Okay? Pero this time, eto na lang gagamitin natin para mas mafamiliarize tayo. So in this case, dito muna tayo sa pinaka-right magsisimula at ang mga naka-on na bits dyan would be this. And yung mga equivalent niyan would be 2 plus 4. Okay? Kasi ayan sila. Okay? Now, next naman would be this group. Since ang mga naka-on na values would be itong dalawang dulo, that is equal to 1 plus 4. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong 2 plus 4 ay equal sa 6. At ito namang 4 plus 1 ay equal sa 5. So, ang final answer natin dyan would be 5, 6, base 8. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this example. We have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, base 2. So, again, guys, since mahaba yung given, kailangan natin siya tn into 3 bits. So, we have 1, 2, 3, slash, and then 1, 2, 3. Okay na ulit. 
So, katulad ng kanina, kailangan lang natin i-append yung pattern sa both groups na to. So, in here, since ito lang yung naka-on, that would be 2. And in here naman, since ito lang yung naka-on, that would be 2 ulit. So, ang answer natin dyan would be 2, 2, base 8. Okay? Now, let's try this example naman. We have here 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, base 2. So, again guys, kailangan natin hatiin into 3 bits itong given na to. So, we have 1, 2, 3, slash, 1, 2, 3, slash ulit. Tapos, 1, 2, 3, okay na yan. So, again, kailangan natin i-append itong mga pattern na to sa iba't ibang groups na yan. So, in here, meron tayong 4, since ito lang yung naka-on, ito siya. Tapos, dito naman sa group na to, since ito yung naka-on na dalawa, itong 1 plus 2 ang pwede natin gamitin. While dito naman, since ito yung dalawa yung naka-on, that would be 2 plus 4. Okay? So, kapag kinumbine natin yan, ito ay magiging 4, ito ay magiging 3, ito naman ay magiging 6. So, ibig sabihin, 6, 3, 4, base 8 ang ating sagot. Mind you guys, na okay lang kahit di na natin to isulat, magdiretso na agad tayo sa answers para mas mabilis. Pero, pinapakita ko lang sa inyo dito yung process natin. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this next example. We have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, base 2. So, again, since mahaba yung given, kailangan natin siya tn into 3 bits. So, that would be 1, 2, 3, slash, 1, 2, 3, slash ulit, 1, 2, 3, slash, and then 1, 2, 3. So, okay na yun. So, para sa group na to, magdire-diretso na tayo, that would be 2 plus 4 since ito yung pattern natin. So, that is equal to 6. Okay? Now, in here naman, we have 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. And then, dito naman sa group na to, since walang naka-on, that would be 0. Tapos, sa group naman na to, that would be 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So, kapag kinombine natin yan, that would be 5, 0, 3, 6, base 8. Okay? So, let's take a look at this example. So again, katulad ng kanina, kailangan natin hatiin yung example into 3 bits. So that would be 1, 2, 3, slash, 1, 2, 3, slash, 1, 2, 3, slash ulit. Since lagi tayo sa pinaka-right nagsa-start, that would be equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, then 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, and then 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7, and then we have here 2 plus 4 that is equal to 6 again. So, pag kinombine natin yan, that is equal to 6, 7, 6, 3, base 8. Okay? Now, for our next example, we have 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, base 2. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, slash, and then 1, 2, 3 again. So, okay na yan. So, in here, meron tayong 1 na mabubuo since ito lang yung naka-on na bit. Tapos, sa group naman na to, we have 2 plus 4, that is equal to 6. So, ibig sabihin, 6, 1, base 8 ang ating sagot dyan. Okay? Now, let's try this example naman. So, again, guys, kailangan natin hatiin ito into 3 bits. And that would be equal to, sa group na to, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Then, here naman, we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And then, 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating answer dito would be 7, 6, 5, base 8. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this example. So, again, guys, kailangan natin hatiin ito into 3 bits. So, that would be 1, 2, 3, slash, 1, 2, 3, slash ulit, and then 1, 2, 3, slash naman. Pero, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa group na to, ay may kulang tayo na isa. Kasi, dalawang bits lang yan. Eh, kailangan natin ng tatlo para makabuo na isang octal number. So, pwede tayong maglagay ng 0 dyan, or pwede naman tayo hindi maglagay ng 0 as long as dito tayo magsa-start sa pattern na to, sa pinaka-right. So, mamaya babalikan natin yan. So, dito muna tayo. So, in here, ang sagot lang dyan would be 1 since etong bit lang ang naka-on. Pag eto naman, since lahat naka-on, that would be 7. So, in here, ang sagot dyan would be 6 since 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Pagdating naman dito sa group na to, pwede natin itong lagyan ng 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang mangyayari, magiging 1 plus 2 itong corresponding values, which is 3. 
O kaya naman, pwede mong hindi lagyan ng zero. Basta ang gagawin mo lang ay mag-start sa pattern natin pero sa pinaka-right. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay magiging 1, ito ay magiging 2. Kapag nag-start ka dito sa pinaka-leftmost part, mamamali ka. Kasi ang mangyayari, magiging 4, tas magiging 2 to, which is mali. Okay? So, tandaan nyo lang, kapag may kulang na bit, pwede tayong magdagdag ng 0, o kaya naman, pwede tayong mag-start dito sa pattern sa pinaka-rightmost part. Okay? Para hindi tayo malito. Same answer lang naman yung makukuha natin. Okay? Now, let's try this example. Again, guys, kailangan natin hatiin ito into 3 bits. So, in here, ang sagot natin would be 1 plus 2 plus 4, that is equal to 7. At dito naman, since ito lang naka-on, that would be 4. Next naman na group is this one. Since ito lang din yung naka-on, that would be 1. So, since ito, isa lang yan, pwede tayong magdagdag ng 0 na dalawa para maging 3 bits in total. Tapos, ang sagot dyan would be 1. Okay? Kasi ito yung 4, ito yung 2, at ito yung 1. Okay? Or, pwede naman tayo hindi magdagdag ng bit na to, basta itong pattern ang gagawin tin natin sa pinaka-right. So, equal pa rin siya sa 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot lang natin dito would be 1, 1, 4, 7, 8. 8. Okay? Now, let's try this example naman. Super haba na nito. So, again, kailangan natin hatiin ito into 3 bits. So, now, dito tayo magsastart sa pinaka-rightmost part. So, ang sagot natin dyan would be 4 since ito lang yung bit na naka-on. Dito naman sa group na to, since ito lang yung naka-on, that would be 4 ulit. While, dito naman sa group na to, since lahat yung naka-on, that would be 7. Now, in here, since ito lang naka-on sa gitna, that would be 2. Tapos, dito naman sa group na to, since dalaway naka-on, that would be 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. Now, dito naman sa group na to, since etong dalaway naka-on, that is equal to 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. At etong last na group natin, since wala siyang bit na naka-on kahit gamitin natin yung pattern na to, that is equal to 0. Okay? Or, pwede naman tayong magdagdag ng dalawang 0 para makompleto yung 3 bits. Pero again, guys, 0 pa rin yung sagot natin dyan kasi walang bit na naka-on, okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung answers natin with base 8. Kaso, pwede natin tanggalin yung 0. Kaso, depende sa prof nyo kung tatanggapin niya na may 0 o wala. Pero, minsan kasi, tinatanggap kahit walang 0. Minsan naman, tinatanggap kahit may 0, okay? So, depende yon sa teacher nyo. Now, let's take a look at this example naman. We have here a given na mahaba ulit. So again guys, kailangan natin tong hatiin into 3 bits. So sa pinakaray tayo magsa-start as always. So ibig sabihin, itong group na to ay 7 since 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. Tapos itong group naman na to is equal to 0. Now, ito namang group na to since lahat ulit naka-on, that is equal to 7. Tapos itong group naman na to since dalawa lang naka-on, that is equal to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. Okay? Now, yung group naman na to, since ito lang yung naka-on, that is equal to 4. Tapos, yung group naman na to, since dalawang dulo yung naka-on, that is equal to 4, plus 1, which is equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, base 8 ulit, ito na yung sagot natin. Mind you guys, na yung mga 0, tinatanggal lang natin siya kapag nasa unahan. Kapag nasa dulo natin siya nilagay, hindi natin siya tatanggalin. Okay? Kasi may iba yung sagot natin doon. So now, I want you to grab your own pen and paper or pencil or any scratch paper at bibigyan ko kayo ng isang short assessment. So make sure na ilagay nyo lang yung mga answers nyo sa may comment section sa baba tapos iti-check natin yan, okay? So feel free guys na i-pause yung mga videos or i-replay yung mga videos kung hindi nyo naiintindihan. Make sure lang na i-comment yung mga answers nyo below sa comment section para malaman talaga natin at matest natin kung naiintindihan niyo ba yung lesson. So that's it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!